us today to talk more about how to make sure that we're taking care of our money and keeping it safe while online shopping is Action 10 Troubleshooter reporter, Andy Lascano. Thank you for joining me, Andy. How are you? Always great. Always a pleasure to be with you. Tis the season, right? Tis That's the right. Season because we're doing online shopping from our couch, from our bed, from the office, in our car, at the restaurant, at the coffee shop, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. listen, listen, this. Man, don't you know that the hackers and the scammers are going, oh, yeah, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get to work here. So what we want to do here is just uh, offer some tips so that you protect yourself, protect your money, protect your identification. And we're going to start off with don't use public or free Wi-Fi. Where can you yeah. get that? Pretty much any place, right? Mm -hmm. Airport, on the plane, at the hotel, at the restaurant, wherever, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to use public Wi-Fi because then your identity can be accessed easily by scammers. You want to do your retail online shopping, uh, probably from your home computer, maybe even your work computer, but don't use uh, public Wi-Fi. Also, uh, you want to get a strong password. Yes. Okay? Not just something that, uh, and, I, and I know some people, well, I just use my same information through all for all of my social media. All of my online stuff, got to change it up, right? Because mm -hmm. the cameras are just sitting there waiting for you. Okay, and then make sure that the sites that you go to to do your retail shopping, are they secure? Are they legit? If they post up an offer that you, you know, some of these pop-ups that you see, whoa, that's the great offer. That's the one I want. Slow down. Check yeah, it out. You mentioned that one thing we want to look for to make sure they're secure is there's typically along the bar a little lock symbol, yep. correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. We always want to look for that. Mm -hmm. Check as you can uh, to make sure that it's secure. Now, you and I were talking before we uh, started here about, so how do you pay for all of this stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, the experts are saying credit card or PayPal, okay, because... Uh, they catch on to fraudulent use of your card uh, a lot quicker. And a lot of times they will alert you to suspicious activity on your card, right? Uh, I was reading the other day where Experian did this online survey that said 43% of identity theft happens when? During online holiday shopping. So just protect yourself. Ask questions. Keep doing your research Make sure that the sites that you are using, the shopping sites that you are using, are they legit? Are they secure? Be, uh, be uh, as I was mentioning earlier, be aware of if it's too good to be true, you better check it out first. Yes, I'm a firm believer in that. And I have been a victim to the too good to be true. Sometimes we're so eager to save money that we forget about our safety. Andy, these are all very, very helpful tips, especially with the holidays approaching and online shopping being probably the primary form of shopping this year. We appreciate your insight and we look forward to you explaining to us how to stay away from scams and to save our money in future interviews. Thank you so much for your time.